We love checking in with the wonderful restaurants around the Bay Area. And when you do think about dining, I don't know about you, but my mind always goes to the Columbia Restaurant Group. And we think of the lovely family behind it. And of course, the lovely Andrea Gonsmart. She's back with us today. Are you from your kitchen again? I am from my kitchen again. Good morning. I told you at the beginning of all this, I wanted to move in with you because of your backyard. Now I'm seeing the kitchen again. I know I'm going to want to say that too after you uh, whip up this next recipe you're going to show us. How have you been though? We've been great. We've been great. We're so happy to be open. We're happy to have our customers back in our restaurants again. Um, it's all positive, good stuff going on. You know, when I was saying I think of restaurant groups, of course, we think of you. Well, also, we think about giving back to the community and having a passion for Tampa that you and your family have. And I know we've got another example of that that we're going to touch on as well. Yes, we are super excited to be celebrating our 23rd annual community harvest this year at the Columbia, which we celebrate all September in all of our locations. Let's explain it. What is it all about? So it's pretty neat. At all the Columbias, we have a specific ballot that's been created for each location that supports the local nonprofit organizations. When a customer comes in, they can dine, they can select one of the options that we've listed, or they can fill one in at no extra cost to them. We will get 5% of their check back to that organization. So doing good has never tasted so great. <laughs> I love it. Why is it so important for you to continue to do like the community harvest always in the month of September and the other ways that you give back? Again, when I think of people who are passionate about Tampa, I think of your family. You know, it is just a small way we can give back to the community that has supported us for 115 years. And I think this year, more than ever, our nonprofits and our communities truly need some extra help. All the businesses have been hurting because of COVID. The nonprofits are hurting because of COVID. And so by going out to eat, you can help those nonprofits raise some funds and help the organizations. It's pretty simple. So getting back to me wanting to move in with you because of your backyard, now your kitchen, also the recipes, I assumed I would be getting a lot of red sangria as I am going to become a part of your family. Uh, but you're stepping it up these days. You've got a different sangria that you're going to share with us. Yes. So to put a twist on the classic sangria, we have a rosé sangria that we're now featuring at the Columbia's. I've mixed one and a half cups of water with our sangria mix, makes it super easy. You add a half a bottle of a rosé of your choice. We are using, it's, it's my rosé, so I'm not going to lie, it's AG Rosé. Daddy named it after me. Uh, and it's add some brandy ounce and a half, or you can make it as boozy as you want. <laughs> Add a little Grand Beignet or any kind of orange liqueur. And the great thing is, is with the mix, your fruit juices are already in there, but I always like to add a little bit of fresh orange juice. So I'm curious too, Andrea, while you're uh, squeezing there the, the fruit to increase the uh, taste and fruitiness of it, I would never think of putting a brandy with a rosé. That had to be something to be like, let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. You know, I had a friend the other day said, I want to make the sangria, but I don't have any brandy. What other kind of alcohol can I add? And I told her, well, try some spiced rum. Get oh. creative. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to try it. I can guarantee you it's going to taste good. I added some apples. If you want to add a cinnamon stick, you can add that. Of course, you can add pineapple chunks. Um, sangria is something you can definitely personalize. Um, and white wine, rosé wine, red wine. You can't go wrong with sangria. I like it. You are making us kind of step out of the comfort zone, putting something with my rosé, but still, I think I'm sure it is wonderful. Again, this is one of the times that we wish we could be in studio with you. Is this something that people can get on the menu? Yes, yes. So it is on our limited menu that we have at all the Columbia's, um, as well as all of our other great sangrias that are always on our menu. So come in, get some rosé sangria, eat some good food. Month of September, support your favorite local nonprofit. It's a win-win. It really is. Andrea, it's a win-win every time we talk to you. Thanks for being with us today and, and staying in touch, okay? Thank you so much. Take care. I promise I will give you a heads up before I show up on your doorstep with my bag. Uh, <laughs> Take care. <laughs> and we hope you stay right there because this show will continue on the other side of the break.